Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Real Quick, episode 181. Today, we have a draft recommended by Stefan Niebrick, our patron. So shout out you for the recommendation. It is going to be horror films that we think that we could survive. I think it's going to be a really fun draft. I think there's a lot of ways we could go with this. And I'm really curious to see what people's picks are. Because I think some picks are going to be obvious. I think some picks people are going to say. And then we're going to be like, no shot. You're surviving that. So stop lying to yourself. <laughs> but uh yeah let's dive into it george's gonna get the first pick horror movies that we think that we could survive very interested to see where everyone's gonna go here george what's the, what's the one one what's your first pick i mean i i think the easy first pick is child's play because if you think chucky yeah. is touching me you're out of your mind i'm not losing to a baby doll um yeah i'm, I'm not losing to that guy no way yeah, you just literally kick the shit out of him. Just yeah, kick him, like, get him away. Boy, yeah, you're stopping him easily. Such a skill issue on people that die at the hands of Chucky. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so let's see. I have a I have a list here. Don't really know where you guys are going to go and where you aren't going to go. So, yeah, I'll go with – first I'll go with Candyman. Because there's just simply no shot I'm going into a mirror and saying his name five times. There's no way. <laughs> and and uh, like uh, even as a kid, when I even did like the you know say, scream, like say bloody mur- murder in front of a mirror or whatever. No, I'm not gonna. You go have fun in your bathroom and do it. I'm not. I'm not playing with that. I'm not tempting. Candyman's not. I'm not evoking Candyman. There's no shot I'm yeah. gonna go in my mirror and say his name five times. So Candyman surviving because you're you're not coming. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna start with Jaws. Um, I'm just not getting in the water. Me personally, I'm going <laughs> to stay in Indiana. Yeah, I'm going to stay in Indiana and just be all right. Um, and then second one, I'm stealing this from. All right, wait, 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 wait. Is are these the rules? We're because like I, if I say Halloween, I just say I'm not going to Haddonfield. No, I'm just saying like Jaws is an easy one. I don't know. Like, like I think I you got to be. In I could I could pick the I could pick the descent and just say I'm never going cave diving. Hey. Hey, I don't, right, right. Uh, I don't, I, I, I will, I will change the rules here. I get jaws because I've, I've already been right. creative enough to think of this, but uh, <laughs> no one else gets anything like that. Right, fair, mm-hmm. fair. Um, other horror movies that I'd survive. I probably, probably Megan, uh, in the that same, realm, in the same realm of Chucky, um, <laughs> just simply, <laughs> punt her uh immediate <laughs> immediately stab her like Bro, I, just I turn her off turn her off turn her off yeah, yeah and i think I, I think there's a moment that she gets turned off and turns herself back on mm-hmm. uh, we went in one ear out the other but isn't there like a robot, mecha right? suit at the end of the movie like does megan get that or does the person who kills megan get that like the big like oh. robot suit i can't I remember know. that movie for the life of me. Yeah, yeah could not tell you <laughs> Well, yeah, I have that on my list too. It's a good pull with Megan. Um, mm-hmm. All right. Well, I, my next pick, I'm going to go with Get Out. I'm white. So I think. You saw I'll, that on Reddit. I don't, don't think I'm dying. I saw, there. I saw that on Reddit as well. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, that was, I was waiting for an explanation. I was like, what, what, why would he survive this? Mm-hmm. I think yeah. uh, probably extends oh. to all Jordan Peele movies, but. Yeah, get that out is so fucking funny <laughs> I did, George, the last your, your thing next I pick. um all right this this might be a a stupid pick but i'm gonna go with sinister um i'm just not gonna move into a house where a murder has been committed you know yeah if i i wouldn't I don't think they have to disclose that well really? actually they do but you have to ask i think mm. oh that's i mean that's that would not be on my list of questions to ask though Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think there's a lot of All stuff right. that falls in that like, category where like conjuring and stuff too. Like it's like I'm not yeah if my house is haunted, I'm moving. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Then then remove that from my from my list. From my you list. can all pick right. it, I'm, no, because we we can't have but, like but I, I think I, so there. I think the question is if you were in the situation of the person, what would you survive? If I was in the situation of Jaws, I would not be the jackass that gets in water. Okay, if that's you fair. All right. Situation of being in that's, a sinister. All right, those are fair rules. All right, all right. So okay. take sinister off my list because I am not. I'm not surviving that's that. Tyler said it. You were in the situation um, of if Candyman. He's leaving the room. All right. I'm so. 
I think I would fare fairly well in a zombie apocalypse if it was from Shaun of the Dead where they're <laughs> stupid zombies. <laughs> so I'm going to take Shaun of the Dead because those zombies are dumb. All right. Mm-hmm. I don't think I would survive like a train to Busan where they're running full speed at me. But when they're World Shaun of the Dead, World War Z, where they're piling up on the fucking <laughs> walls of Jerusalem. Absolutely not, dude. But Shaun of the Dead, I'm surviving Shaun of the Dead. No, if 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 Simon Pegg is surviving Shaun of the Dead, I am surviving Shaun of the Dead. Hey, man, that's like he's that. special agent Mission Impossible, Simon Pegg, <laughs> to you. True, true. Mm. What's your third pick? Oh, shit, I have back-to-back. I did not prepare mm. for this. Okay, my third pick... See, I, I'm almost inclined to pick a Scream movie because like, there's nothing like powerful or supernatural about Ghostface. He's literally just a dude or a dudette. Uh, but part of me also thinks that's stupid. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... I could stupidly pick another... You know what? Fuck it. I'm taking Scream. I, I'm not losing to like one of my friends in a Ghostface costume, respectfully. I'm just not. It's not hey, you're a built man. You're a built man. I respect the pick. <laughs> Me personally, I'm probably not winning that fight as much. <laughs> also, uh, I don't think, and respectfully to any of my friends watching, I don't think any of my friends are smart enough to keep a secret that they are <laughs> a serial killer. Okay. I would That's know fair. in I would know immediately if one of my friends was slaughtering people. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah, kind of another candyman type pick where it's like Easiest way to win the game is not to play the game. I'm surviving the ring because if I was handed a videotape, it said if you play this tape, you're gonna die in seven days. That tape's not hitting my VCR. Nope, Furthermore, risking. being destroyed immediately. So, uh, I'm uh, yeah, the ring I'll, I'll survive easily because there's no shot I'm tempting that. So the, um, the big problem with a lot of yeah. horror movies, people tempt things that they shouldn't be tempting. So mm-hmm. absolutely would not be playing that videotape, thinking sure. I'm better than tougher than the the VHS. So I'm having to, I'm trying to go through my uh trying to go through my horror picks and just seeing what I could survive. Can someone, I haven't seen the movie in forever and I gave it a, I think a two out of a hundred when I did 11 out of a hundred. So not bad. Could someone um, inform me what happens in knock, knock again? Like what happens like at the end or just what? Yeah. So what's the, no, just what happens? Like what's the trope? I forget this movie completely. Um, Oh man, and I just watched this like a year ago, maybe. So the the, the two girls, I don't know. I genuinely okay. that then I, I won't think it. I just I was trying to figure out. I think he's I think he's a really horny guy. Um, I think that's the yeah. So I don't think we survived that. I think we yeah, all fold. No, I pers I, I I personally like to think I'm I'm not horny enough, and I'll, I'll survive <laughs> that. Like I I think I'd survive just simply like. I'm pretty confident and not not like cheating on Emma. So, but um, <laughs> well, I I, we'll, knock, we'll skip knock. that. I don't one. know what happens. Yeah, yeah, that is a bad movie. Oh, I, I'll pick um, Skinnamarink. I'd survive Skinnamarink <laughs> um, because I'm not entirely sure anything happens. Uh, in um, I mean, people, get, people, people, people whisper body. a lot. People whisper a lot. Yeah, people did whisper a lot, but uh, dude, I, I've been uh, meaning to rewatch Skinnamarink for some fucking reason. Do it. Um, I don't know. I don't want to do it, but I feel like I'm going to. <laughs> and then again, I'm trying to just find like horror movies that I could I could survive, and I don't watch a ton of horror movies. Um, I think. Uh, oh, this one, I think I could survive. I think the Nick Cage um, Dracula in Renfield is a, <laughs> is a bit of a is a bit of a bitch. Um, so I think I could survive Renfield. Um, I think I'd just punch Nick Cage in the face or something. It's like, oh, you hit me. Steal the declaration. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I could uh, I think I could beat Nick Cage. That's my that's my bad there. Cam, you're fucking uh, funny, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. <laughs> you're fucking hilarious. It's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess again, just not gonna tempt fate. You know, know, talk to me. I yeah. I'm not yeah, just if, if I'm at a party and they're like, yo, grab the hand. Using the easy route of just don't do I what's would, being asked of you. But talk I, to I, me I, was I, going to be my next pick. Like, fuck. Yeah. Just I'm not, don't I'm shake not that thing's hand. 
Yeah, yeah I'm not you know, shake be, the hand. People get too tempted, you know. Oh, We're all just greedy. Just be content. You're at a party, drink the booze, yeah. have fun. You don't need to be talking to the whatever other <laughs> realm of dead people. <laughs> George, your final two picks. Uh, all right, my final two picks. I I want to go with. I don't know if you guys. Oh, I just had the movie. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, hold on. Yes. Okay. I I'm gonna take. No, what movie? Hold on. Let me search this. I think it's called this. Yes. Okay. So there's this this uh there's this found footage film called Host, and the whole found footage is like they're on Zoom or like they're just on a video chat. Um. I'm hanging up immediately before. Yeah. Yeah. I, First creepy one, thing that happens, I'm saying, hey, I got to go. It's yeah. I said, I'm sorry. I have family obligations. But also, n- me and my friends, like we FaceTime every so often. We're not just sending out Google Meets invites for 8 p.m. on a Tuesday and hanging out with each other. That's just never happening. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think yeah. that'd be an easy one to survive. Um, I'm kind of almost inclined to like pick Cloverfield because I think I just leave New York City. I wouldn't. Didn't they blow up all the bridges? Yeah, I'll just go north. I'm right here. I'm already high enough. Shit took place down south. I think I'd survive on the Upper East Side. (laughs) Um, I'm not. I'm not taking it. Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. I don't think I would body that that monster. You're on the Upper Um, East Side. Yeah, where and everything where where Noah Khan couldn't afford rent, and so he's like window shopping. On the Upper East Side. Does he oh, say that? God. Yeah, he does. Yeah, okay, that's all I know about New York. But uh, <laughs> you know that's all I got. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, all right, but what do I think? Damn, I really, I'm not going to lie. I didn't Maybe the Upper there. West Side. I really think I survived Cloverfield. I'm not going to pick it. I'm not going to pick it because I don't want to be called stupid in the comments. Um, upper West Side is where you can't make rent. I'm sorry. That's very understandable. Upper West Side is stupid expensive. Okay. Um, yeah, which that's where Lincoln Square is, where we go to the movies all the time. And every time I'm there, I come home and I'm like, I wish I lived on the Upper West Side. It is so that's much fun. fun. Um, uh, what am I surviving? What am I surviving? I think I am surviving. Um, I'm going to go with Anna and the Apocalypse. I think I survived that. Also, Not I just familiar. don't. It's another issue. It's another zombie apocalypse movie, but it's also like half musical. Um, I will say, bangs. It has okay. some absolute okay. zingers on it. Two of the songs. I watched this movie last year, 2023, and I watched it in November. Two of the songs were on my Spotify wrapped because I listened nice. to them incessantly after I watched this movie for the first time. Um, but again, I'm not losing to slow ass zombies. I'm just not. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. Understandable. Too fast. Uh, my final pick. I have two left on my list, but I'll go with the, this one. I'll go with Barbarian. There's just multiple moments where you exit that house. Yeah. First off, if I'm first off, remember, if you're in an Airbnb and someone else is there. Yep. Airbnb yeah. and someone else is there, you leave. Airbnb in general, I'm never going to alone, but I know like the reason was like all the hotels were booked, but I can't remember why she was there if it was for like a work trip. Mm-hmm. If it's for something more serious and she had to be there, it makes sense. But if I went on a work trip to a city where they were like, there's zero hotels available, I'd just be yeah, like, say, sorry, yeah. work, not making this trip. I'm just going to yeah, yeah. dip back. Not, not, I don't care about it that much. So, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, if you find a, a creepy corridor under your Airbnb, you're, you're not investigating that at all either. So, there's like eight moments and eight decision points in Barbarian where you take the path of exiting and they do not. So yep. what's the final um, pick, Cam? Yeah, my last pick uh, I think is uh, quite an easy one for me. I, I would survive they slash them um, because I'm... <laughs> that movie went in one and you're one out the other. Yeah, I forgot. Um, <laughs> frankly, I, you know, I wouldn't be at this camp just because one, I am not in the LGBTQ community and two... Um, do be who you want to be. I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to be at this camp trying to change anyone. So yeah, just be who you want to be. I (laughs) I don't think, uh, I, I, you know, you're, I'm not going to try to convert anyone and I won't be at this camp. I won't, I, hopefully I'm a, I'm, I'm an ally, man. I'm on your side. Uh, killer. (laughs) Don't, don't kill me. Um, so yeah, I think me and the killer are cool. We're cool. I I can't remember. I actually can't remember if the killer is trying to kill them because they are gay or because they're converting. Um, people fr- 
they're like a conversion camp. I genuinely can't remember that movie at all. It's really bad. I thought I saw it. I haven't seen it. For some reason, I was getting that confused with Sick. I feel like those two movies came out oh, around Sick. similar time. Sick, Sick wasn't bad. I didn't hate Sick. Sick was not bad, yeah. yes. Sick but, wasn't but terrible. I, I think I forgot about it the next Definitely day. Definitely I didn't hate it. it. Um, all right, here's our picks. George selected Child's Play, Shaun of the Dead, Scream, Host, and Anna and the Apocalypse. I selected Candyman, Get Out, The Ring, Talk to Me, and Barbarian. Cam selected Jaws, Megan, uh, Skinnerink, Renfield, and they, them, they slash them. So th- those are our drafts of movies we think we could survive. Horror films that we think we are making it out the other side of. Let us know whose list was the best in the, in the comments down below who won this draft. Um, with that, patrons, we're going to see you tomorrow for a review of Ready or yeah, Ready or Not. Ready or not. And for everyone else, we'll see you on Monday for the next Real Talk. Peace. 